Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. I'm Captain Yellowfin and we are in a Germany campaign uh, under the HPP mod and we are in summer 1941. We have uh, helped Italy um, putting a stop to the uh, British onslaught in North Africa. We've pushed the Brits back in the last episode. Uh, we have besieged Benghazi and Tobruk, and the Italians were ashamed by that, but they had to rely on us, on the Africa Corps, so they conducted a very um, heroic and successful landing in Alexandria, and um, but they weren't interested in, in the uh, eastern side of the Suez Canal, so... Germany conquered Palestine and Jordan. And then Italy has landed additional divisions in... Uh, they had a very small area left that they protected in East Africa. But they've lost uh, most of Ethiopia. So right after this invasion uh, in Alexandria, they shipped in more divisions to the uh, small pocket here that they managed to save along the uh, on the western shores of the Red Sea and they are now presumably um, working on taking back control of Ethiopia. Uh, we'll leave them to their business. Germany on the other hand has um, we had a small invasion to deal with in uh, Salonika but uh, that has been repelled. We have shipped back our Africa Corps, or most of it, to infantry divisions stay as a, an occupation force in the near or in the uh, in Palestine, Palestine Jordan area. Uh, the rest has been shipped back to the Balkans and is right now um, moving to the border with the Soviet Union. We are preparing, hopefully, for a late summer offensive um, for the out break of hostilities with the Soviet Union. We are setting up a um, Panzer or Armor Group 2 in uh, Northern Romania and Armor Group 1 in former uh, Poland, just uh, west of Lov. And um, the idea is to create an initial pocket here, to create some uh, to create an encirclement, uh, I think, because we have not too many divisions at all, we need to um, capture Soviet divisions to a large extent uh, in order for us to uh, be able to do anything really in the Soviet Union. Um, yeah, so that uh, gives me a bit of worry, but we're. Um, we are um, preparing and I think we have a decent chance. We just have to be careful, very careful with how, to, how we're deploying our units. Um, we also, or the Axis, um, did lose uh, Malta. That's why I set an invasion or an, an objective for my allies. Um, I think uh, we control most of the Mediterranean. But I think we need to make sure we control the last British ports here on uh, Cyprus. Uh, we have to retake Malta and we have to kick them out of Gibraltar as well. So those are other operations that will be prepared. Um, and then um, I was also thinking about... Well, we have a few more preparations to make for... Um, Operation Frog against the Soviet Union. Uh, we have to prepare a northern front. We have to think about what to do with Finland. If they stay neutral, it's um, all right. I don't think they're close. No, they're not close to joining the Comintern. And they're actually currently drifting towards the Axis. So they might even... They might even 
potentially join the Axis after the outbreak of hostilities. What else? Um, right, so we have to prepare for that case. We have to be ready with troops in the very north. That's why we are um, building up infrastructure here, so we'll be able to move uh, military assets uh, north and east. We also have to think, uh, in case they stay neutral, it's basically just a bit of an unknown as they might switch sides later or pick a side later on. But um, so in in the in the back of our minds, we have to think about an invasion of Finland, maybe. But um, that is not a very uh, realistic uh, possibility right now. Another um, subject I've been thinking about is uh, the naval war. We have pretty much sealed off uh, the UK from um, convoys. We aren't. Um, we're sinking convoys here and there, but um, it's not very much. Sometimes uh, we go days or weeks without sinking any. Maybe. I should shift the areas a little bit, because right now there is a gap here. Um, what else? Right, the naval game. I was thinking about um, redeploying some of my fleet to Norwegian waters, just to make sure I have forces in the vicinity in case uh, anybody decides to uh, go to war over Norway again with me. And also maybe to slowly whittle down the... Uh, maybe to seek the odd engagement here and there with the British Navy to uh, whittle down their um, naval forces a little bit uh, in order to prepare for a long-term uh, possibility of invading British Isles. Uh, we also have to think about naval warfare against Soviet Union once we start uh, the hostilities. So maybe we should um, reroute some of our submarine flotillas to the Baltic for some convoy warfare. I mean, these uh, the flotillas that are um, sealing off the UK will also, of course, uh, attack Soviet convoys that pass through. And um, we also have to deploy our Air Force for the uh, for Operation Frog. I think that's pretty much it. So we basically have um, a couple of naval invasions in the Mediterranean deal with. We have naval warfare in the North Sea and in the Arctic Ocean and in the Baltic Sea and then we have the whole preparation for the land and air preparation for Operation Park. And then we have other issues as well. Let's deal with research first and crew training. That is done, so let's take this project out of here. Uh, we were saying that we need to improve our fighters. So let's go for it. And we should also probably research advanced aircraft designs. And escort fighters, of course. Um, let's actually go for this one first. This one will help out our medium bombers and our naval bombers. Alright. 
And then, yeah, oh yeah, something very important. We have been um, losing money over a long time and I haven't really paid attention to it. We have very high stockpiles of everything. Although right now they are being depleted at a rather high rate, but I think I'm going to tell the AI to be a bit less aggressive about um, gathering resources. Let's see. I'm wondering I'm going to click both of these ones uh, reduce rare stockpile should take us down a little bit and reduce metal stockpile This decision will instruct the AI to stop by less rares. Each time you take the decision, the target stockpile will be reduced by 50% of the default value to a minimum of 50%. Let's see what that does. Uh, we could also cancel some trades. I mean, some of the trades will uh, cancel anyway, as soon as we declare war on the Soviet Union. Very happy to see that the uh, Americans are willing to trade with us, that's interesting. So obviously we are um, really creating quite some problems for their natural ally, the UK. Um, let's check on diplomacy. Where are the United States anyway? They're all the way in the allied corner. We have great relations with them, but not so much Japan, of course. Uh, anyway, um, let's continue with the uh, setup for Operation Frog. We're also wasting IC. I think we can always do with some more fighters. I'm going to add that. How is it that we need 110 in consumer goods? Not sure what exactly that is about. There are some freshly deployed infantry divisions. Uh, 
we are being invaded there. I don't see uh don't see any invasion. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, I, I guess it's because of these units here. Yeah, uh, these rebels, Yugoslavian rebels, something. Uh, I was worried a little bit. I think overall we are, um, we have the upper hand, at least on the uh, Western uh, allies. So now, for us, it's important to finalize the setup here. Okay, all these divisions have a headquarter, and then we have a bunch of divisions here, third army. Right, so with this armor core, we don't actually want to be positioned here. 
We want to break through here where we don't have to cross a river. Okay. Uh, with the armor cores, we need a better setup still. I like to keep cores at around three divisions, not the max of five. I think this way I can use more high skill commanders with their traits to benefit more uh, divisions. Although, of course, at a lower uh, at a lower rate, I want to try this out. Uh, the seventeenth Army Corps. And still use a division here. And we have improved radar. Let's stop researching that. And instead, let's go for. Let's go for combat medicine. Uh, these two divisions will go to 27th Army Corps. Okay, so we still need some additional headquarters. And uh, then we have some spread out infantry divisions. Uh, we have also uh, identified a few divisions, infantry divisions, that have motorized support regiments. So I'm upgrading their infantry regiments to motorized infantry. Uh, this is another such case. Moving back west. <clears throat> Our 
for now. Uh, we have deployed some cavalry brigades for anti-partisan duty. Still more art to come, of course. So the uh, Oberkommando Ost is some sort of rear guard um, headquarter, currently positioned in uh, Krakow. Some uh, infantry. Actually, let's replace some of these commanders. Especially when they're highly skilled. Huh. I am running out a little bit of commanders. Of low skill commanders, that is. I'll just use uh, lower skill commanders. Let's get some traitless commanders into these um, cavalry divisions. They will be tasked with uh, partisan duty mainly. We've lost the effects of being invaded. Uh, some espionage is going on, and we are being port struck in. Uh, Bordeaux. That's not good. I just repaired this uh, flotilla. I'll rebase it to Wilhelmshaven. We're going to use it in the uh, Baltic anyway. I thought I set these on a uh, air intercept mission. British are taking up their bombing campaign again. Have to pay attention to this. Now we have a lot of fighters here. We'll take one then. Um, Air fleet out. Probably should have done so a while ago. In order for them to be able to repair. I think I have too many. Yeah, it's actually a small air base. I'll move them over here. Uh, the good thing is we're earning money again.
Our officer ratio is climbing. That's important as well. Now, let's find the uh, unattached divisions that we still have. Okay, so we have an infantry division here. I think this one should probably go to Norway as well. Let's first assign a better commander. And probably use a winter specialist in the Arctic. Uh, we need a commander here. Okay, so we need to attach these divisions. Uh, should we? Rename this headquarter. I'll probably assign a different commander. Eventually, we have we have very few high-level commanders. At the moment, uh, but maybe we should go through all the divisions and uh, find even higher skill commanders. Uh, let's organize the transport. 83rd Infantry Division to Norway. Where is the air combat? I'm not seeing it. There it is. Our naval bombers are being intercepted. There's a lot of British air activity going on over Western France. Uh, the Italians are landing again in Malta. I like that. Well, the British have landed again in Cyprus. That's um, that's not good. So we have to do something about the remaining British um, presence in the Mediterranean. Uh, maybe we have to ship in our own garrison for these islands. So... I will ready these two infantry divisions. Um, as soon as the Italians have taken Malta, I'll uh, bring one infantry division to protect Malta. And then one for... Um, uh, Crete, and then later one for Cyprus and one for Gibraltar. Uh, we have more units ready. Great, that's the first Marine Infantry Division. That's excellent. Um, we can actually deploy them in the south. Of course, we also have a commander ready. I'm thinking we should get started with training 
of another one. Right, so, um, Armor Group 2 has arrived, at the headquarter anyway. There's still a lot of reorganization to do. And it's already September, so, um, things get a bit more urgent now. So Heos Kopemitte will actually be tasked with um, opening up the offense offensive in the center. So let's um, take care of it. First of all, we need a different commander here. Uh, I think this one, von Blomberg, <clears throat> is a better commander. Now let's um, quickly go through all the uh, divisions, just to make sure that we don't miss any military talent. We have a whole army group under excellent commanders here. First infantry division. Skill six core commander. Not exactly what I need in the West. Make a bit torn commander of fifth army in the east. He's old guard. But first army, much too good for occupation duties. Okay, core commanders have already been replaced. have the division commanders and then this army group
the risk too good also. Let's go with an unknown leader for now. Okay, now here. Uh, we have some pretty good commanders. Uh, some of them are too good. I see that's the uh, Supreme Headquarter, I believe. Uh, we can actually go through, check out some of the ground forces, skill 4. Seems a bit too much. For um, coastal protection. 6th Army Corps is in uh, former Yugoslavia, or 7th Army, no, 7th Army Corps is in Hamburg. Reserve. We'll leave it as it is now. I'm not sure what to do with this army corps yet. And this one is in. Well, uh, this one is in Denmark, and this one is in northern Germany. Hmm. Skill five. Uh, let's promote the uh, skill 4 generals. We'll find a defensive specialist. Yeah, Palestine Corps has been reorganized. Seventh Army is in Norway. I think we'll leave the commanders as they are now. This one is a skill four. Let's replace him and promote. is in North Norway. So is this one, what about 29th Infantry Division? This one is moving back to Germany for uh, retraining and re-equipping to become a motorized infantry division. And then we have a few unattached infantry divisions. Now it gets a bit more interesting. So do we have a better Supreme Commander here? We actually do. We have Runstedt. Okay, so these 
need to upgrade to at least army commander. A uh, student will leave. We might create a uh, airborne corps. Um, these two will upgrade or um, be promoted to army commanders. And for the Rundstedt, we can promote him to army group commander. Now we can, yeah, let's pick von Rundstedt. He has also the uh, defensive trait. And then for army group center, let's pick von Bock. Uh, army Group South um, doesn't have any armies attached yet, but will so eventually. And I think here we'll pick um, Bush. Army Group North, I like that. Skill 5, School of Offense. Now let's go through the armies. Third army is attached directly. Let's see, let's attach it to army group north. Um, skill. We have some skill 5 commanders in these core headquarters. Even some sixes. Promote Munstein. And Hauser. Uh, one of them can replace Halder in Armor Group 2. Munstein seems like a good choice. Should also probably eventually command an army. Rather than a core.
Shumi will be relieved. He did a great job in Africa, and we'll see if we can do something, uh, give him uh, some a bit more of a challenge. Skill six. To me, that sounds like a tank uh, army commander, maybe. Let's see if we find something more suitable. An old guard commander for 7th Army Corps? I don't think so. Well, it's in the 28th. Fourth Army is commanded by an old guard. Skill three commander. I think we can do better. And then for third army as well. Holder who commanded the Armor Army Africa, which was five divisions, is now in command of Third Army with five corps and fourteen divisions. Some of which need better commanders. Really. Twentieth Army Corps. Let's give it to student. Let's quickly go through the divisions. Give some young commanders a chance to practice. Okay, that looks good to me. With the army, we still have some old school commanders.
is a skill 5. Needs to be promoted, of course. Skill 1 is too low if we have better commanders. And for now we do. Uh, General IK at skill 5 will be promoted to Corps Commander. Sixius Infantry Division gets a better commander. 17th Infantry as well. General von Arnim will become a core commander. And so will Hupner at skill 5. And Rorp. And Dietrich. And Hubiki. On Mockinson. All pretty good. First armor core. Let's get Geir von Schwepenburg. Second armor core. And 
Yeah, one Arnim. I think we'll create more cores anyway, with maybe two to three divisions each. Third armor core. Gupner sounds like a good choice. I'd like to have some medium armor in the third uh, armor core. reduce this core a bit in size. Let's create the sixth armor core. Seems pretty balanced, except we could maybe do with some additional medium armor in the south. I think now, right now, all medium armor is concentrated in the north. So we have, let's see, we have one, two, and fifth arm, armor core are in arm group once, uh, one, and then fourth. Third and sixth in armor group two. Um, so, first of all, second armor division gets a new commander. So that's fourth armor. Um, we need something for the motorized infantry. Very nice to have all these um, armor specialists or um, combined arms specialists at, um, available. So we have some armor division here. Okay. 
Now let's create some more cores. See, I thought I saw two. Yeah, we have two 12 army divisions. Yeah. 13. So one of these will become. Okay. I have no idea why we have two 12. So let's just rename this one to 14. This one is motorized. I have to rename this one for a long time. Okay, now we need to split this one up. And this one should be, so we have 15th armor division. And the 17th. We don't have a 16th, so we'll rename this one 16th armor division. Uh, fourth and sixteenth will reattach. And we'll reorganize something with them. And then we can strengthen fifth armor core. with one light armor division. And let's create a separate a separate armored core here.
Excellent. Now we have two 14 power generations. Interesting. Okay, so we'll become the. See what we have. We have 17. It will be the 18th armor division. And this will be the 8th armor core. Alright, finally things are shaping up. Okay. And we need a core command for the six armor core. Okay, I like it. So now we have we mostly have the light armor divisions and the motorized infantry division. Sometimes we have some medium armor. That sounds pretty good. Commander for the score. Why not a military engineer? Uh, create an additional core here, and this one will be we're at uh, 31st, so this one will be 32nd Army Corps. I'll give it an offensive leader. Yeah. 
uh, and a precision here. Because it does have medium armor, we'll call it heavy armor core. These do not. What about armor group one? Should have one heavy. Right. Okay, so now we have a pretty powerful army group center. Uh, three armies, 13 cores, 38 divisions, six medium armor brigades, 15 support brigades, 17 HQs, 45 infantry. Brigades, 26 Light Armor Brigades, 37 Motorized Infantry Brigades, 7 Mechanized Support Brigades, and 16 Motorized Support Brigades. This um, army group concentrates all our armor. And we still have some unattached uh, armies and divisions. Which we will deal with later. We also have the whole air force to deal with. We have the mountain infantry. I think um, we can give each um, armor core here one mountain infantry core. One mountain infantry division can go to the 30th core. That's pretty good. They can uh, support. Not sure what to do yet with these uh, with this infantry. We'll probably need it uh, for the uh, push to fill in and to assert the uh, encirclement. I think um, we are getting sort of ready. We have to wait for a few more divisions to reach there. Destination. Submarine encounters some British forces in the channel, or flotilla, as it is rebasing to Germany. It's like the Soviet um, Union weakened its uh, defenses. Uh, this would be a nice encirclement as well.
But uh, we'll deal with the uh, southern portion first. Yeah, we have to take care of the Brits. I'm ordering my naval bombers to attack Crete. See, maybe we can um, damage some ships in the port. We have to take every chance we can get to damage the uh, British Navy. We have improved our... Um, By transportation. And an additional infantry division has finished. Some transports and the destroyer flotilla. Maybe we can damage some of those. There, is, there are some additional infantry divisions that will finish. like the uh, Italians have been they have abandoned the attack on Malta didn't lose any transports or battleships however Transports have arrived here, but board 83rd Infantry Division, and let's transport it to Norwich. We could cover it with our force. I think our fleet is faster than the transports. But I should overtake them and clear the way. Two more infantry divisions. Um, let's spread them out a bit. One will deploy in the north, one will deploy in the south.
Baltic fleet overtaking the transports. Our submarine flotilla has made it back to Wilhelmshaven. And now again we deploy it to Danzig. He's actually now a pretty experienced commander. We can uh, consider exchanging him for an inexperienced sea wolf. Yeah, the kingdom is trying to spy on us. be the 33rd Army Corps. It's already uh, almost mid-September, so we should get started. Yeah, I think we will we'll just wait for these divisions to move into place. Uh, we can also deploy the Air Force. Nice if we could help with this um, tech here. Unfortunately, there are no air bases nearby.
We have some medium bombers here and here. Question is, shouldn't they rather be here? I think they should. Then we have some fighters here. And transports for the airborne infantry. have some heavy fighters here. I think they can be of use. We can just get them closer. Let's move them here. Maybe actually even here. Those are all too far away. I'll move them here. What do we have here in the north? More. Those air support. Uh, these fighters are still repairing. These are used to protect industrial base as well as these. We have naval bombers. The coast transports have returned after. Um, I'm loading the infantry division. Our fleet hasn't been detected. Um, I'll rebase this fleet in Trondheim. And then I'll set up some naval patrols in the North Sea. Let's pull the light fighters from from Paris and bring them to the Eastern Front. I think we'll need them more over here. But I am it's a bit weird. being bombed again. Are the Italians going to take back... haven't taken Malta and they haven't taken back Crete. We have to be careful that uh, the British don't become a problem in, uh, in the Mediterranean. Anyway, I am also not sure happened to my air force. So some fighters are here. Uh, 
And we have naval bombers. They don't not doing anything. Did I lose naval bombers? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think I ordered these to uh, to intercept. Something is weird. I have to keep an eye on this, but I'm going to set up a uh, port strike mission or Portmus or Plymouth, actually. And we'll have to check back with them. Uh, I have some naval bombers here. Thought I had more units somewhere. Okay, so that's two more air fleets of naval bombers. Um, let's rebase them to Athens first. Not sure whether I will use them in the Black Sea against Soviet shipping. Soviet convoys. What exactly we're going to do? These are repairing. Uh, let's put them on priority. Maybe I can get some repairs in here. And we have medium bombers. They have set up uh, close air support, and we have medium bombers sitting in Athens. Okay. Uh, they will support the attack in the south. That's their range, they can get pretty far, so maybe... Let's see again. Yeah, so they that's their range. I can use them from the uh, base in Bulgaria. And as soon as we capture more air bases, we can move them up. Okay, so that's the uh, medium bombers, more close air support, uh, naval bombers of Plymouth. They immediately take a lot of damage. So. Cancel this mission. Light interceptors. Heavy interceptors. Naval bombers in the north. These are redeploying. Interceptors in the south. On the eastern front, heavy interceptors in Hungary. Naval bombers in Palestine. And some more heavy interceptors. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I like the setup so far. Air and ground forces, the uh, medium armor. I think has arrived. Yep, it's here. Okay. So we're basically ready to start the offensive. I need some more submarines. In the Baltics we might pull off some from the blockade of the United Kingdom. And we might redeploy some naval bombers in, uh, to Norway to deal with the Arctic convoys to the Soviet Union. And I think then we can get started. Okay, I'll pull back the uh, naval bombers. There aren't uh, any particular use here. Pretty sure are way too strong with their radar. Rebase the naval bombers to on time as well. Should also queue some uh, troop transports. They have a tendency to uh, to get destroyed. And if we plan any uh, naval invasions, we're going to need a lot of them. some air attacks going on. Um, let's pull back this um, flotilla. Okay, isotope um, separation has finished. We need to save our uh, flotilla. 
Kingdom of Italy cancels a deal for rare materials. It's okay. Let's pull back this little pillar. Right, the other ones are doing okay. I think uh, eventually we'll move out the uh, blockade further, further away from the British mainland, so they uh, won't be able to strike us with their planes. And then we have more research that we can assign. One will be the electronic computing machine, improving our research. What else do we need? Infantry is looking pretty good. We could go for this one eventually. How about armor? Let's get the upgrade to the light tanks. We we'll also need this eventually. And we have a uh, whole bunch of projects that will finish up. Just in a few days. Um, we'll be able to order uh, destroyers. So I'm going to end the stream here. Um, next time we will get going with the... Uh, with Operation Frog, the attack on the Soviet Union, and uh, that should be a lot more interesting. I want to thank everybody who stopped by, and I'll see you soon. Take care.